All right, so continuing on, now that we've got our, our character created here, we're just going to select them, and we're going to click Start. Of course, we need to enter our pin that we set up when we created our guy. Mine's just, I don't even know what it's for, really. Now that you know mine, you're all going to hack my stuff. <sighs> Come on. Um, I'm not going to record the, uh, the prologue video. Uh, if you want to watch it, feel free to. And now we are in the starting area of the game. Alright. Now you can see, you know, names are clearly marked above everybody's head. Uh, yours in particular uh, will be marked in green. And the, the letters underneath represent the server you're on. So you'll see that there's people from your server. You'll have KR. There'll be people from other servers. And uh, all these people, or sorry, these, uh, these things on the screen here, back in the distance. And these guys here, these are all just little enemies. And there's a lot of different types of enemies. But if you look down on the lower right, this is your little mini map or, or radar. Um, you'll see characters in green here. Little arrows. You'll see these white dots. Um, white dots are neutral enemies, like these juvenile sparks. The green ones are usually uh, NPCs, which are non-playable characters. And uh, this little arrow, green arrow, represents somebody that has like a quest or, or an objective for you to do. Now that we have the game running, um, let's go over the interface. Uh, like I said, we already discovered the radar. Uh, on the left, lower left, we have our character's portrait, health bar, magic bar, I don't know what DP is, and uh, the bottom bar is the experience bar. Every time that fills, you'll gain a, a level, and this little number here will go up. Uh, these bars here are your action bars. So anything you put in here, uh, e items, I'm not sure if you can put uh, like equipment or anything in here, but potions and things like that you can put in here and you can click on it or you can press the corresponding uh, keys in order to uh, activate that particular uh, square. Um, for instance, because I'm a priest, uh, I have smite and a healing light it's called that's a heal so if I press 2 it'll use heal loot and the bandage and rest and change weapon these are all things I won't leave on my main bar for sure uh, auto attack and chat you probably end up doing that just by clicking on somebody their nameplate comes up here. If you right click on somebody or something, you'll get this little menu. Whisper, UT tail, follow, request trade, add to group, add friend, invite to alliance, request duel. That's on a on a, a playable character. You can only request duels from playable characters. Um select integrated server. Not sure what that is. These little question marks that come up, probably tool tips that come up, and if you click on them, it'll give you uh, an explanation of each one. Uh, the chat, which will be this box. There's different tabs for the chat. All that would be anything in the area. Normal, not sure. Combat, there you go, see? It, probably anything re related to combat, being healing, attacking, taking damage, dealing damage, probably all listed here. And if you're in a group or a party, all that will be listed here. It kind of separates it. Um, world chat, not sure what's going on there. It's probably something similar to all chat, but might talk to the entire server. Not sure. Um, this can go up bet and down between several bars, apparently. 
Okay, so you can like really create a nice array of, of different skills once you've obtained them. Down here, got a menu outlining all the different parts of the interface that you can access and over on the right is the corresponding hotkey. Okay. Uh, profile. Press P or just click on on this and then go to profile. I prefer hotkeys, but if you if you're more of a clicker then you know, use this little menu. This is gonna give you an outline of exactly what you see here. Equipment you're wearing, your inventory, uh, some stats based on the, the equipment you're wearing and your character class. Uh, all this information up here is relative also to the equipment you're wearing. Uh, not sure what stigma is. And I don't know what this is either. Titles. Uh, you can unlock titles by doing certain quests or performing certain tasks throughout the game. So instead of just Yogambi, it might say, you know, Tree Hugger Yogambi. I, I'll get that one and I'll show you that when I get it. Motion. I, I'm not sure what this is, but I'm sure it's not important. Pardon me, I coughed. Had to mute my headset so you didn't hear that. But anyways, that's the uh, that's the profile screen. Uh, what's this? Oh, there's some other other statistics. Okay, let's go back to this little menu. Got our inventory. We already saw this uh, as part of the profile. These are the things you have in your inventory. Got a couple potions or elixirs they call them. Got some bandages. Some fruit juice. Uh, special cube. That's probably for like key items, items that you really can't use uh, directly. That will affect your your stats or or your your health or anything like that. Uh, what else do we have? Skills. This one will be an important one. So that's K. Uh, active skills. That's anything I guess you can put on your your bar. On your action bar to, to uh, as usable. Uh, passive skills. In my case, this outlines uh, the type of weapon I can use. I can use apparently uh, mace, and I can equip cloth armor and leather armor as a priest. Uh, gathering and crafting. So probably you know picking up ore, mining ore, gathering herbs. This will increase as you as you gather. Emotes. Okay. Oh. See. All right. So I can click these instead of having to type them out. See, it shows you what the uh, what the uh, if you type that in in the in the chat bar slash laugh, it would laugh. Sad point. Nod. These are all just kind of interactive features uh, to be so tr so. No, get out of here. I don't want to duel you. Uh, to be social, you can be like, you know, cheer, and my guy should cheer. Okay, all right, yeah, okay, good for him. Actions, uh, all this stuff, you know, it really isn't going to be of any importance to what we're doing. I'll probably figure those out later. Chains. This is going to outline kind of a combination of skills that you uh, need to perform in order to get a chain. And only certain abilities are activated once you used certain abilities. So in this case, I need to use Hallowed Strike, which I don't have yet, because I have to acquire it at level 3 in order to. Uh, activate Infernal Blaze, which I only acquire at level 7. We got the quest log. I don't have any quests. I haven't really gone anywhere yet, so we'll get into detail on that after. The world map. This is my favorite screen. Mostly because 
everything that we're going to need as far as quests, uh, what you want displayed on the map, and where instances are will be easily accessible from the world map screen. Um, so in case you haven't noticed, the circle with the green or the gold colored arrow is where you are. Uh, as I stated before, arrowheads like this will be quests. Uh, completed quests will kind of have a double arrow and class or level quests and story quests will be like a, a golden sun type uh, symbol. Uh, macros, that's a kind of an advanced feature to do a, a series of abilities by just pressing one key. Looking for group, uh, we'll get into that later once we, we can get into a group. Sorry guys, I, I've had a cold for the past few days here. Um, system menu options. Now, in addition to the options we went through in the first uh, first part, there are in-game options to customize uh, what shows on your interface, such as, of course, my name, which if I click this off, click apply, my name is gone. I'll leave it on because I like, I, I kind of if you're in a big group of people, sometimes you don't know where, where you are particularly. Um, there's a large variety of different types of changes you can make in here. Um, to start off, a lot of it I would not change. The only ones I would change would be in quick bars. Mostly because I don't have all the abilities, I mean, to fill up all three of these action bars at the bottom of my screen. So I would just turn off quick bar one, quick bar two, and apply that. Um, controls and camera, max camera distance. I like to have it at max. Okay, let me let me just demonstrate something real quick for you. I'm going to go to near for now, and you by by scrolling in with your mouse wheel, you can go in, you can go out. At near, this is as far as you can go. Okay. Um, at normal, you can go a little bit further, and as you know, far would be far. Maximum, maximum is a great thing. Okay, I can go very far out, so I get a huge field of view around my guy. I prefer this because then I can I have a wider range I can see when I'm navigating on the map. So I prefer to have it set to maximum. You can put it however you however you choose, but I've I've found that if really if I want to be closer, I could just scroll in some. So having the option right away to get as far away out as possible is handy. Uh, let's see what else we have here. Um, there's probably a couple little options I might tweak later uh, once I get into the controls. Profanity filter, I love to have that on. Uh, that way you won't see. Uh, it'll come up as like funky characters, special characters or stars. I like to keep that on. It stops people from spouting vulgarities at everybody and you don't have to be a part of it. So whatever. Big font, let's see what happens. Ooh, that's a lot easier to read. I'm going to leave it like that. My eyes aren't what they used to be, you know. Um, la 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 la. All this other stuff on this page, I'm not going to really get into. Combat information, damage receives. This is all just going to affect uh, what you see in the, the combat window over here on the left. So if you, it'll tell you all the the things that are checked. Pets. I don't have any pets to show you. Uh, graphic options. There are a couple more options that unlock once you're actually in the game. Uh, as far as as far as graphics go, I believe, anyways. No, actually, it wasn't this screen. I'm sorry, I misled you. 
And your other players' pet. Ah, this is the one. Here, other players' pets and sidekicks. So, say for instance, this uh, this this guy right here had a little pet, or or a a, a guy with him, and his pet barks. You would hear it if you had that option selected. I don't need to hear his pet barking, so I will just keep that off. Key mapping. This is where you'll find. It's like pretty much the guide for what all the buttons do or can do. You don't need to know all the buttons to play the game, but if you prefer to have buttons uh, laid out in a certain fashion, this is where you would find it. You got controls for movement. Oh, pardon me. You got your movement, uh, walk, run, uh, flying for later. Combat. So uh, if instead of pointing and clicking on things, you can press, you know, a certain button, select the nearest enemy by pressing tab or, you know, nearest target by pressing F8. Functions. There you go. You know, if you reply to whisper, just press the T button. Boom, somebody talks to you, you press T, it'll automatically get you back in touch and able to type to that person. Uh, if you're in a group or a party, these are shortcuts you can use. Brands, no idea. Windows, here's all the keys for all the different windows that you could find in here. And you could set them up however you choose, depending on, you know, if you're left-handed, you're right-handed, whatever the case is. And your quick bars. This is the buttons that you will use to access any bars you have up on the screen. I turned off the first and second ones, but for instance, for the first bar, I'd have to press Alt and 8. I could change that to Alt A if I wanted to. I'm not going to yet because I don't have enough skills. But we'll get into that once I actually need more than one bar. Um, you know, and that's pretty much it for the options that matter at this point in the game. If anything changes, I will definitely update that for you. Um, you know, it's the same thing. That's the world map again. This window up here, this is kind of like a quest logger. And this is going to track the quests that you have based on if you have them tracked. Recommended probably for your level. Any quests in the zone that you've acquired. So if you're moving from zone to zone, it's going to keep a list of those quests in that particular zone. Oh, there's the level. Oh, I went to drink some water or something soon. Uh, quests based on your level. And any recent quests you might have gotten. You'll see more of this in uh, in upcoming videos. Uh, I don't like this box because it gets very confusing. I prefer to use the map, and, I, and I'll show you how to navigate that a little later on. Okay, well, I think that's good enough for this interface uh, little tutorial. Um, we'll get more into depth with other features as they come up during the game. But I hope this was helpful, and if you need any more details, feel free to just submit a comment or send me a message. If you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and you will receive automatic updates for every L2P that I put up here. And uh, that's it for now. Talk to you later.